stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Disney Plus Hydra Stomper Hawkeye Yelena Velova. <laughs> Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we continue looking at the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Hydra Stomper Builder Figure Wave. As in front of me today, we have Yelena Belova from the Disney Plus Hawkeye series. And it is another character from that very show to add to the collection. But I'm not one to complain at getting more Florence Pugh in the MCU. And this is technically her second Marvel Legend as though we got one in the Black Widow Wave. So obviously I'm going to be trying some head swaps to see if we can cross create an MCU inspired White Widow. We shall see. But there we have the digital render on the front, Hawkeye logo at the bottom and up top. That comic style artwork from the Hawkeye series on one side. On the back, another digital render as well as the biggest Hydra Stomper Builder Figure piece. Remember, my review is already on the channel. And if you want to see what he looks like, there is the Hydra Stomper built in its entirety. And to build him, you will need to buy six of the seven figures in this wave. Today we're reviewing Yelena Belova. So let's not waste any time and get her open. Here we have Yelena out of the packaging with all of her accessories, excluding that massive Hydra Stomper Builder figure piece, of course. This is everything she comes packed with for her, including a set of fisted hands and then two batons, sort of shock sticks that we've seen her use on the series. Now she's wearing that black attire we've seen her wear during the rooftop scene in the Hawkeye series. And it is a nice contrast to the white outfit of Yelena that we've already got from the Black Widow movie. And if I move them out of the way, I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but she does seem a little bit tall now she is about six inches or just over to, top, to the top of her hair which you would seem or think is normal scale but don't the males usually stand at about that scale so maybe she is a little bit too tall we'll find out when we do some comparisons but getting her to stand was quite awkward from the beginning i'm not going to lie she topples over she has got the pins in her legs but she does have the pinless arms they are only the single jointed arms though so it's basically reuse from the previous one it seems but instead of white it's black so a little bit mischievous there from how bro as i did assume we were getting the double jointed elbows but that is not the case the likeness is better in hand though so we're going to zoom in and check that out and of course compare it to the previous version do some head swaps but before we do that a quick word from a website i think you're gonna like let me introduce you to legendsverse.com a place all marvel legends collectors are going to want to know about if you were looking for an easy way to keep track of your collection what figures you have and create wish lists then legendsverse can do all of this and so much more it's a comprehensive marvel legends database that once you have added your collection gives you stats like how many figures you own how many waves and builder figures you have completed and how much your collection is worth right now organize your collection in teams upload photos of each figure look at price guides and share your collection with friends by showcasing your own profile go and sign up and see for yourself legendsverse.com Make sure you check out the website using the links in the video description and the socials. If you're a Legends collector, I do think it's worth a look. Now back to Yelena here, and I think the likeness is very nice. Now maybe my bright lights in the studio are a little bit too harsh on her pale skin, but the likeness is definitely there, people. Her makeup is a lot darker now with the black sort of lipstick and the darker eyeshadow. But honestly, I do see Florence Pugh in there, especially from certain angles as you start moving around. I think they've done a really good job with this one uh, and the hair is really nicely detailed too so it looks all slipped back from the front but as I spin it around you can see it's all tied up in these tight braids going down the back here and there is a little bit of a, a light wash or some dry brushing over the braids just to make them stand out a little bit more and bring out some of that sculpted detail you've even got that one braid going down separately all the way down that would be nice to have a little bit of color there for maybe the bows or the ties on the hair but otherwise they have attempted to put some shadowing in there uh, and when the light hits it the sculpt's so nice it does bring out the detail so bravo on the head sculpt now let's compare it to the previous version of the Elena I do think this new one is better but you can let me know in the comments below remember we got those Black Widow figures way before the movie came out because it was during COVID time so they have upped the game even since then and this new one I definitely see the actress in there a lot more than I do the previous one 
So looking at the rest of Yelena then with her tactical all black sort of levery attire and you can see that sculpted detail on here as well and even glistens a little bit under the lights. It's a little bit glossy to sort of represent that levery texture. So that is all on the front and even so on the back with a little bit of green on there as well. Doesn't really continue though for the trousers and the arms but the articulation on the head I've never really shown you is on a dumbbell. So you get plenty of tilt and swivel of course but less up and down because of the big braids on the back. So so buries the chin a little bit more than looking up. So limited, uh, and you can see that open collar there with the jacket, and then the diaphragm is where all the articulation is as well. So that's where you're gonna get your swivel, but it will break up that jacket design. No swivel at the waist, and a little bit forward, like a tiny bit forward, more so back, but again, not so much. The arms is a point of frustration for some, maybe, as they are the exact same arms that we got on the previous Yelena Belova. They are the same arms, but now from white to black. And they're the ones that are single jaw jointed uh, they're pinless but they invert so like you can literally break her arm look at that ah she broke her arm snap it back into position there you go now to be fair they do go deeper than 90 so better than your regular single jointed elbows but still for a character that double wields pistols and batons i would appreciate the double jointed elbow here but that's your range the exact same arms that came on the previous yelena balova the only difference is is the gauntlets on the wrists you've got the gray sort of thicker version than the black with the red on that one. So same arms as the previous Yelena Belova. A little bit of green there on the front and again, green pinstripes on the arm. That same continues on the legs. A bit more tactical style with the big knee pads and the boots. It looks like there should be a boot cut, but the boots are just sculpted on there. She does unfortunately have the pins on the knees, so it isn't a completely pinless figure, but that's not the end of the world. They are a great range though. Look at that, she can kick her own back all day long. She has the swivel at the thigh. The legs go forward quite a bit as well. And uh, she can do the splits virtually so uh yeah not a bad range for yelena as i said tactical style down here with the boots and the knee pads a little bit of green highlights uh on the black leathery sort of texture but other than that uh she's all right now, of course, she has no actual guns to hold, but out of the box, she does come with a set of trigger finger hands, and both of them have the up and down hinges, so that's very nice. And if you do have the previous Yelena, of course, you can switch out the guns and steal them from her. The trigger hands actually double as gripping hands to hold the weapons she actually comes with, which are these two baton sort of shock sticks that we have seen before with other Marvel Legend Black Widows. Again, they can be a little bit loose and fall out the hand, but she seems to be gripping them okay at the minute on the thicker end. And again, double jointed elbows and a butterfly joint would really help the posing ability of this figure with this sort of weapon style. But I still think you can get her into some nice poses and there's not much detail on the batons. It's just they're sculpted in that plastic and that's it but they do the job and I think she looks pretty good. And let's not forget, she comes with a pair of fisted hands as well. So here we have a quick side by side of the two Marvel legend Yelena Velovas we have within the MCU realm. And again, you've got the black uniform and the white uniform. So you've got Hawkeye and the Black Widow movie. So let's try a little head swap unfortunately it didn't work as I hoped it would. I do think proportionally the head works but the neck is too long. It sits too high on the neck and it just doesn't look right at all. So maybe if you Dremel out the head if you really wanted to use the head sculpt on this body you could maybe make it work but again long neck syndrome and then as you would expect it means she has no neck. And then here we have her sister Natasha the Black Widow either side. I've picked both the black and the white outfit from the Black Widow movie because I I'm curious if this Florence Pugh head school will work on either of them and we can sort of anticipate what the White Widow will look like within the MCU. Of course, there's a couple of versions of this as Melina also came with that sort of outfit, but she had like the sort of off-tone shoulder pads and knee pads, but she does have the sort of backpack with the shockers in, which may work as well. So let's try a couple of head swaps. So unfortunately, that doesn't work. Again, we're dealing with a big head on a long neck. So the colours don't match either in regards to the skin tone and I don't think proportionally this would work at all. Again, it's making me think that Yelena is just a little bit too big. A little bit better on this one but still suffering from the long neck syndrome. Again, the skin tones are a little bit off and uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work. Again, proportionally just something is off. So it doesn't like look like we're going to be able to use this head to create an MCU White Widow just yet. We're going to have to wait for Thunderbolts. Now I've put them back on the table because I've been saying this from the beginning.
beginning, but I think I'm right. I think Yelena is just proportionately a smidge too big in comparison to some of these other female figures. As you would think, she should be at least the same height as Natasha, but standing her up straight there, again, she's awkward to stand. She's definitely taller and just a little bit bigger, like her face is even a little bit bigger. So yeah, I think overall Yelena is just a smidge too big. Here we have Alexi, aka the Red Guardian, and we should see these two team up again during Thunderbolt. Let's move into some actual Hawkeye comparisons. First up, we have both of the Marvel Legends versions of Ronan, and I think she's wearing like a nice matching outfit, to be fair. It looks like these two could go on some nice stealth missions. Here we have Clint and Kate, who I think she scales much better with, so the scales on these Marvel Legends figures are all over the place, to be honest. But uh, she looks good next to Kate, and then here we have her compared to some bros the track suit mafia who we should see again in the mcu during the echo series whenever that gets released now of course the only other hawkeye figure is kingpin who is also in this wave but i don't have him yet he didn't have a builder figure piece so i'm waiting a little bit longer for that one so i'll make sure i compare these two when he arrives here we have a compared to the other live action figures from this same disney plus wave excluding kingpin who i just mentioned uh, and again looking at this makes me think that agatha is definitely underscaled even though I think Elena's still a little bit too big. But it depends who you're standing next to. Like, it's very confusing. Moving into comics, just in case anyone is interested, here we have Yelena compared to, I think universally we can all agree, is one of the best female Marvel legends, the brand new 60th anniversary Black Widow. If Yelena had all the same points of articulation as this Black Widow have, then the figure would be on another level. So let's try a head swap, and it's okay, but again, just not quite right. Something is off. Maybe it's just the aesthetic of MCU versus comic, but uh, in case you wanted to see it, there you go. And let's wrap up with some of the Who crew. So here we have Frogman, Tigra, and Joe Casta, who is reading out comments from the last Marvel Legends review. So make sure you leave a comment and she may pick you to read in the next video. Who have you picked today? Nicholas Corr in 4648 says, WHHHHY on earth can Hasbro give Agatha perfect billowing sleeve, but not Mockingbird? And of course, last but not least, it's Captain Britain. And hell, fire, Hank. Not yet. Final thoughts on this Marvel Legends Disney Plus What If Hydra Stomper Builder Figure Wave Hawkeye Yelena Belova. And you know what? It's a solid representation of the character in this particular look from the Hawkeye series. And she will look great compared to some of the other figures you already have in your collection. I still think the scale's off just a tiny bit, maybe not so much with the Hawkeye figures. So if you're building a more contained display, it might not be something you notice, but you could see there when I was doing comparison and head swaps, proportionally, she is just a little bit bigger than some of the other female figures we have in our collection. And even with the sort of awkward articulation in points, you can still get a posed up in a nice dramatic pose. And then you won't even notice. So overall, nice figure. But if I had to be nitpicky, give me another head. What can I say? I like Florence Pugh. Give me a more neutral sort of down hair like we've seen in the apartment. Eating the pasta with Kate. That would have been good. But you let me know what you think in the comments below as always. And if you like Marvel Legends, check out those links for legendsverse.com. But if you like reviews, videos, talking nonsense, and <laughs> well, you're in the right place. Check out the videos tab, find the playlist. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit all in a notification bell. Don't miss out on a video and please hit that join button, become a channel member, either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Check out the other tiers as well and you can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who, Twitter or X at Dan Who Reviews and I shall see you on the next one. <laughs>